today's stages of Rally Sardinia. Another eight to run today, totaling 134 kilometres. Heavy rain has left the stages wet and muddy with dauntingly deep water splashes poised to drown rally cars. And today, there was plenty of that. Esapekka Lappi leading the rally overnight by just one tenth of a second from Sebastian Auger. But on the opening stage, it was Auger who outpaced the Hyundai driver to retake the rally lead by 1.7 seconds. Yeah, for sure, we need to drive fast. Uh, we're happy there is no gap at all. Cherry is only uh, now 17 behind, so for sure, uh, we need to do drive as fast as possible. The first casualty of those water splashes would be Takamoto Katsuta, smashing into this wall of water, heavily damaging the front of his Toyota Yaris and hydraulicking the engine. It spelled the end of his day. The drama continued on stage nine. This time, Oit Tanak's Puma took the plunge. The car stalled after the water splash and wouldn't restart. He limped to the end of the stage in electric mode and would join Katsuta on the retirement list. Up at the business end, Thierry Neuville was showing spectacular pace. Third overall, but winning both stages eight and nine, the Belgian was dragging himself into the fight. It was OK. I feel more comfortable in the car and I can give it a bit more rhythm. Um, but obviously, lots of new pace nodes in there. And yeah, it was not bad, but uh, maybe I lost a few, few little seconds here and there. Meanwhile, in the battle for the lead, Lappi went quicker than Ogier, marking another change. The Finn was back on top, but by just three tenths of a second. We just try to try to come through the stages with the speed what we have, and, and yeah, it's a it's a long day. There, there was so many rocks already now that I I managed to avoid few of them, but few I need to drive over, and, and uh, that might cause some problems. Stage 10 now, and Ogier made his move. He dropped the hammer to go a full 13 seconds quicker than Lappi, who had also picked up a front left puncture. Ogier was now leading by over 12 seconds. I target every stage, but it's a difficult one. So, of course, when the difficulty is there, it's always a chance to make a difference. I really fight a lot in this one. It's not an enjoyable one to drive. It's super slow, super technical, but I fight, I give everything. And yeah, the time is uh, good. It was another stage win for Neuville on 11. He returned to midday service third overall, but now just six and a half seconds behind Lappi, who had dropped yet more time to Ogier, and the Frenchman ended his morning's work with a rally lead of 18.2 seconds. Into the afternoon then, and the dramatic story of Sardinia would continue to unfold. Ogier became the third Toyota to fall foul of those water splashes. His Yaris misfiring after taking the plunge on stage 12. He hung onto the lead by 10 and a half seconds, but at the end of the stage, clearly he had work to do. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I took it easy, but still uh, the engine died, so I had to. Uh, yeah, I have to go. Stage 13 next, and the weather continued to deteriorate. Elvin Evans was the next victim, again deep into the water, and the Yaris arrived at the stage end on electric power. We were just nursing the car through, but you know, the water splash of the ridiculous is at the end, there's no way to get a rally car through there, so that's it. Ogier, meanwhile, was able to start the stage, but he dropped a further 12.6 seconds to Neuville, who was quickest. That meant in the overall fight, Ogier, Lappi and Neuville were now separated by just 7.4 seconds. Something had to give, and on stage 14, it was Ogier who was caught out. With zero grip, his Yaris slid off the road into this left-hander, and his challenge was over. Meanwhile, Neuville was on an absolute flyer. He went more than half a minute quicker than Lappi to steal the lead by a whopping 23.8 seconds. 
the final stage of the day then and after all the drama Kali Rovampera promoted to third overall but well over a minute behind Essa Pekalapi up on the front though it's Thierry Neuville who leads by 36.4 seconds was a tough day out there but uh, the feeling was getting better and better with the car after tomorrow is a, a short day but still a tricky day so uh, we need to have a clever drive through and uh, Try to bring home a one-two for the team. It's been a super Saturday in Sardinia, and we're not done yet. Thierry Neuville leads a Hyundai one-two into Sunday stages. Can they hang on, or will there be yet another tale to this Sardinian story? Tomorrow, we find out.